Hi everybody, it's Dina, and I'm back with another video. March 9th, 2023. Um, you know, it's funny, the more videos I post, the more I get sick of hearing myself saying the same thing. Um, but I think it's good to be consistent and start a video the same every time. I don't know, just a thought streaming through my head. So this video is my finished bag o' day pattern of the week. And I don't even know what number it is. Seven, maybe? Yeah, maybe. I don't know, all the labels will be correct, the title of the video. Um, but this is my series that once a week I have Alexa pick a pattern from um, all the Etsy patterns that Crystal at Bag O'Day have. And what I did was in the beginning of the year, I just printed, I basically screenshot each and every um, page of her Etsy shop. So I'm sure to know that there is a written pattern because last year when I did it, some of the patterns I picked were um, like, like they didn't have a written pattern and I like to purchase her written patterns because it supports her channel and also watch her video because that really supports her business. So last week, um, it was a bag, which was real different and I was excited about that. And I'm just trying to find it on my sheet here. Okay. Yep. It was number seven. I have it crossed out already just so we don't redo it. But this is the pattern. She used three different colors. Um, and she did it. Oh, I did it two ways. Okay. So she did it with crocheting in the round and cutting your yarn every time you change to color. So every row. And then she seamed up the bottom. So I did do one like that, which I really like, but did I do? Yeah. Um, but then you have all these ends to tie in. And there is a way that I figured out to do it that you can, it's not really carrying the yarn so much, but um, you don't have to cut it. And I'll show you, um, I did another one, but I like this one. It doesn't have like a bottom or anything, but it's really cute. Not sure what I'd use it for. It's very, you know, like um, it's, it's not stiff. The yarn that I used, I used a combination of cotton yarn, the I Love This Cotton, from Hobby Lobby, one of my favorite cottons of all time. This is a four weight, 100% cotton, so soft. And then um, I used a um, Unforgettable, this one, and it's also a size four, and this is acrylic. Um, looking for the color. It's called Parrot. I don't see that. I don't really see a parrot in there. Looks like fall to me. Um, you know what? I think they're saying it's Parrot in the picture. Yeah, that's what they're saying. That's Parrot. So what's the color of this one? Oh, Polo. There it is. I just... So that's polo. I'm assuming that's the color. Okay. I just want to get in focus. Though I look so much better when it's blurry. Okay. Okay, so that's what I did. So I only used two. Um, so I didn't have as many ends to tie in. But look at how cool that looks. Now, hers looks awesome. But again, she used three colors. She used like a deeper peach and like... Um, 
like a coral and then a peach and then a cream. So I think using this variegated yarn with it made it turn out really cool. And I think it looks kind of like stained glass. So I really like this effect and it was pretty easy. And I think I would just use this as like, um, not a notions bag so much, but maybe to keep my nail stuff in or I have, um, you know, like, um, you know, like my manicure nail stuff I could put in here and put, hang it up on the wall or something. So it'll look pretty because storage in this house is lacking. So that's what I would do with something like this. I wouldn't use it as a purse or anything. Okay. So then I did it another way. And again, this is just me experimenting. So I did it with making a rectangle bottom and then working my way up. And it just makes it a little bit um, more of like a bag bag. And then I just did several rows of single crochet and then I added some D rings and I made, and I didn't tie in my end. Oh, I did, I did tie it in. I just forgot to snip it. So I'll snip it. And I just made a handle. Now I did this because I thought this would look cute as not so much a crossbody, but I don't know if you guys have seen a lot of people wearing bags like this right under the arm. But I made it so if you wanted to make it long, like a total crossbody, you could. And to me, that's just more useful how I would use it. Um, so that's why I did it like that. So let me fix it. I also did not um, cut the yarn when I did it. This is gonna be hard to explain, so maybe I'll do a video. But I think they both came out really good. I don't think you can tell that I did not cut the yarn. I think they both came out looking fabulous. Really love this combination, the color combination. I'm glad I went with the unforgettable. So most of the bag is cotton, um, so it shouldn't stretch too much. And then the acrylic is the unforgettable. So, okay, <clears throat> let me see if I could explain this. So I would do the V stitch row with the cream and then the next row, so it was every other row, well, except the first setup row. The first setup row is you do V stitch and then the next row you're doing using the, um, the main color again and then you go through and basically oh no I'm wrong it's just every other row but basically what I would do is when I was done with one I would take a stitch marker I would just take my hook out take a stitch marker and put it through the loop so it wouldn't disappear and then I would do the next round now because you're working in the row below you um, to get this effect to get this effect that it looks like this is scrunching in between so your main color when you're doing your main color V's, you're doing it in the row below you between the V stitches. So since it's the row below you, you could actually just leave it, okay? And put your stitch marker in it so it doesn't like, you know, undo. And then you do the next color, whatever your center color is. And then that, you know, you finish off, you do your um, slip stitch and then you put a stitch marker in there and then you just pick up the other color because it is, it's okay. It's like right in the place you need to be so you don't see it. And that's what I did through this whole pattern. So I did not have the ends to weave in. So that I really liked a lot. And then I did the bottom up. So those are my bags this week. And I really like them. I gotta remember to take pictures of my stuff because I wanted to do that and I keep forgetting. All right, so that is week seven finished. And it's, I plugged my computer in before I started the video, hoping it would charge because it's dead. Oh, there we go, it's turning on. Okay, so now we're going to pick week number eight. All right, guys, the way I do it, I'm gonna ask Alexa. I'm gonna say her name. 
Alexa, pick a number from 1 to 187. Here's a number between 1 and 187. It's 84. Okay, what do we got? We have an easy crochet shawlette. It's very pretty. I mean, it's hard to tell with this little picture. So I'm going to bring up the pattern so we could look it over together. Okay, I have the pattern here. And ironically, she used two skeins of the Unforgettable from Red Heart. Um, hers is like a purpley color. Um, and it looks like she used a six millimeter crochet hook. So that's about 450 yards that she used. Um, so I don't, this is the only unforgettable I have and I don't want to do the same color. I get, I get bored. I just worked with it. I need, I need to be, you know, have something different. And I know I've worked with this yarn. I'm going to show you a million times or at least three times, but I love it. And I think this will work up beautifully in this yarn. I'm going to use the, um, Caron Colorama Halo. Um, and this is the gray, um, I don't know if they, I don't think they have like the color written on here, but this is the gray ombre. And I got to tell you, this is one of my favorite ombre effects it is, oh, it's graphite frost. Um, so I think this pattern will look really, really pretty. I'm going to put a picture of the pattern here. Um, I think this will look really, really pretty in this ombre. And this is a size five, but I think it's fine. Um, this is a shawlette, so sizing doesn't really matter. So that's what I'm going to do for my eighth bag of day pattern for 2023. And if you would like to make any of these patterns or try them either with me, um, the same time or after I show it, they're linked in the video. What I usually do is I will link the playlist so you can see all the past ones up to date, um, videos, but I will also link the, 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 the project that I just finished that I just showed you. So I'm going to link the pattern to the bag and the new pattern I'm doing. So I will link a pattern to the shawl down below. I'm also going to have my Facebook group linked down below. So if you do make any of these, post it on my Facebook group, take a look at the pictures there. We have some incredibly talented members that post their pictures and it's really it's, it's very, it inspires me and I think it would inspire you as well. It gives you ideas and um, keeps your creativity flowing and that's important. Okay, so I guess that's it for this video. I hope you guys are all doing great and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.